ISF filing, eligible for rail and air goods? Hello and welcome to our video. Today, we will be diving into the topic of importer security filing, ISF, and exploring whether the ISF filing can be completed for goods transported by rail or air. So, let's get started. Customs brokerage and importer security filing are crucial elements in the world of international trade. They ensure compliance with customs regulations and facilitate the smooth movement of goods across borders. Now, when it comes to ISF filing, it is primarily associated with ocean shipments. However, it is essential to understand whether it is applicable to other modes of transportation as well. When it comes to rail transportation, a common question is whether ISF filing is required. The answer is no. Unlike ocean shipments, where ISF filing needs to be done 24 hours before the cargo is loaded onto the vessel bound for the United States, rail shipments are exempt from this requirement. This is because rail shipments are perceived to have a lower risk factor in terms of security threats. However, it is important to note that while ISF filing may not be mandatory for rail shipments, it is still advisable to have the necessary documentation in place. This includes a commercial invoice, bill of lading or waybill, and any other relevant documents. This helps in ensuring a smooth transition of goods through customs and minimizes any potential delays or issues that may arise. Now, let's turn our attention to air transportation. Air freight is widely used for time-sensitive or high-value shipments. But when it comes to ISF filing, it is important to understand that it is not a requirement for goods transported by air. Unlike ocean shipments, air shipments do not fall under the ISF filing requirements. However, similar to rail shipments, it is still advisable to have all the necessary documentation in place when transporting goods by air. This includes commercial invoices, air waybills, and any other relevant documents required by the customs authorities. Proper documentation helps in expediting the customs clearance process and ensures a smooth flow of goods. In summary, ISF filing is not required for goods transported by rail or air. However, it is important to have the appropriate documentation in place to ensure a seamless customs clearance process. While rail and air shipments may not have the same strict ISF filing requirements as ocean shipments, it is still essential to comply with all other customs regulations and requirements associated with these modes of transportation. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you found this information helpful and informative. If you have any further questions or topics you'd like us to discuss, please let us know in the comments below. Remember to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more informative videos on customs brokerage and international trade. Disclaimer note below. Happy importing and see you next time.